We'll look at uh, Jeremiah chapter 17 and verses 9 and 10. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart, I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. Uh, Mark uh, 7 verse 14, And when he had called all the people unto him, he said unto them, Hearken unto me, every one of you, and understand. There is nothing from without a man that entering into him can defile him. But the things which come out of him, those are they that defile a man. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was entered into the house of the, uh, from the people, that his disciples asked him concerning the parable. And he saith unto them, Are ye so without understanding also? Do ye not perceive that whatsoever thing from without entereth into the man, it cannot defile him, because it entereth not into his heart, but into the belly? and goeth out into the draught, purging all meats. And he said, That which cometh out of the man, that defileth the man. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness, all these evil things come from within and defile a man. Now the next four verses are written to Israel in Ezekiel 36 verses 25 to 28. But God wants this to apply to us as well. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols. I will cleanse you, and a new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and will give you an heart of flesh, and I will put my spirit within you, that's the Holy Spirit, and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you shall keep my judgments and do them. And you shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and you shall be my people, and I will be your God. John 3 verse 1, There was a man of the uh, Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. And verse 3, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, or truly, truly, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water, that's of the word of God, and of the Spirit, that's the Holy Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, Ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, or where it wants to go, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. That's what God wants for each and every one of us, that we will be born again into his family through faith, in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Christ died for our sins, according to the Scriptures. He was buried, and He rose again the third day, according to the Scriptures. Your soul can be saved, as a result of faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. All we must do is come in repentance toward God. That's a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you're a sinner, and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. There's two destinations at the moment of death. It's either heaven through faith in Christ or down in hell if we die without Christ. And I'm here to tell you that your soul can be saved this afternoon through faith 
in our Lord Jesus Christ. Just come in repentance toward God. Acknowledge that you're a sinner before the God of heaven and then believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. In whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins. I wonder when you die where will you be? Five seconds after you die you'll either be in heaven through faith in Christ or you'll be down in hell because you've rejected or neglected the Lord Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Thanks for listening and God bless you. If you're interested in this look me up youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ.